Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for 26th of August to the 1st of September 2024. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Aries. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. Message for our lovely Aries. Message for Aries. We have the Three of Pentacles. With that, we have the Nine of Wands. Above, we have the Death Card. And we have the Eight of Cups. Immediate Past. King of Pentacles can be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male or female, or the energy of the card. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. Uh, King of Pentacles, male or female, can be somebody who is solid, stable, secure. Quite a good sign of financial success as well. It could be a person that you're dealing with here. We have the Two of Wands. Bottom two cards, the moon and justice. It's like you're nearly at the end of something here, Aries, and you just want to walk away. You just want to move on from it. I mean, that's the energy here. The death card is an ending of some kind. It's deep, profound transformation. Um, it's out with the old and with a new shedding of an old skin, you know? Just like the butterfly changes from the caterpillar to, you know, um, to the butterfly, you know? It's, it's a time of, of renewal and rebirth for you. But sometimes we have to let things go that don't serve our highest good. So there's an ending potentially at play here. Something might have ended for you. Again, sometimes with the Eight of Cups as well, we, we either want to walk away and go in search of something better. We just want to put whatever it is behind us. For others of you, it could well be because of how you walked away. I mean, it might well be that you had to leave somewhere, um walk away from somewhere, you know, however that manifests for you. So this could also be you left, somebody left, or how that came about could be the issue at play as well, how the ending came about as well. The King of Pentacles is a focus here. The King of Pentacles can be very positive in terms of money, but this can also be somebody who is um, generally very committed, solid, stable, secure. I think that there is, with the Nine of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, it looks like there is some negotiation going on here, Aries. The Nine of Wands can be when you're nearly at the end of something, but it's not quite over yet. We have to persevere. We have to keep on pushing forward. Uh, but you've likely been tested. But there's always a feeling that change is closer than you think with this kind of energy. And normally the advice is with this kind of reading to keep on keep on doing what you're doing keep on pushing on keep on persevering because you're nearly at the end of something here but it's been tiring it's been testing it's been difficult the three of pentacles um can be very positive in terms of new teams new collaborations so if this king of pentacles is offering some kind of opportunity potentially in money career finances it can be the potential of some kind of new team, um, new collaboration of some kind or joining that. For others of you, the Three of Pentacles can link in with some negotiation that you're dealing with in terms of bringing about a completion and you're finally getting there. You're nearly there. You're one final step, one final push, and then you're there either way. So I think that you just want to be done with the thing that's testing you and you want to walk away. You want to leave somewhere. You want to put something behind you. Emotionally move on, physically move on. This is the energy at play here. The Two of Wands is 
certainly that energy of, of the things that you've taken steps towards, you're waiting, you might be waiting to see what's going to happen next. When we have justice in a reading and the moon, you don't really have clarity. I mean, we are talking about seven days, so quite a short space of time. Justice in the moon can be sometimes we have to surrender and trust that certain things are unknown to us, how things are going to unfold are unknown to us. But intuitively, you feel how something's going to go, but you don't have sight of it yet. This is when we just have to surrender and trust. There's a strong linked link of, of karmic blessings with this reading, uh, hidden blessings that are yet to be revealed. The universe working behind the scenes to bring you that sense of rebalance. Whether it's to do with an official process that you're going through, justice can be linked with contractual areas or getting a new contract, but it can also be to do with red tape, bureaucracy, legal matters, legal processes, government institutions, arbitration. So it can be official matters in that way. The justice card, when it appears in your reading, it's generally quite favourable for you, but you don't have sight of it yet. So this is what I'm thinking. This week, it just feels like you've, you've done what you can do in the near future. You've done what you can do. You've taken the steps that you can, and you're waiting to see what happens next. And it feels like in terms of what justice is going to be for you. It can be very powerful in terms of getting balance back, um, getting some kind of decision. But it, it generally is linked with karmic rewards. And that's what I see for you here, Aries. Okay, and let's see what we have. So, Angel Spirits Guides, what will justice be for Aries? It's probably going to be longer than a week. See if we can find out. What do we have on justice with Aries? There you are. Queen of Wands. Action orientated, go getting, driven. Courageous energy. This is assert yourself. You know, the hanged man is waiting. Wait for things to play out, but the answer will come. The four of cups is someone is going to make you an offer, but I think that you have to wait for this here. With the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, yeah, this definitely feels like six of pentacles can be a sum of money. It can also be to do with offers, opportunities. It can be of the financial aspect with the six of pentacles, but it's quite a fair offer. Um, it can also have the set of the scales of balance. You can see it can be a, a fair exchange, you know, for your efforts. Strength card, yeah, just stay strong, stay committed to the path. You're in the perfect space, space to manifest what you want. Yeah, this is what I see for you here, Aries. I think the offer is going to come to you. Uh, there, is some, there is a waiting period here. But it doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Things are more likely happening behind the scenes. And you might not have full sight of exactly how justice is going to come in for you. Uh, whether it's to do with a new contract, whether it's to do with, um, again, some official process that you're going through. The same energy applies. I feel the spirit is telling you your time is coming. You know, you're one step away, one final push, one final hurdle. Keep on doing what you're going to do. And there are hidden blessings attached to this. Let's pull you an Archangel Michael card. Let's see what we have for the week for Aries. Archangel Michael message. These messages can be additional. We have number two. Angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. Lovely energy there. Bottom of the deck. Number 21. Open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. And let's pull you an oracle card. What do we have for Aries? Message for Aries. Thank you. Number four, beauty. I have form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine.
very empress energy very abundant energy and finally Aries I am going to pull you an angel and ancestors oracle card what do we have as a message for Aries to finish off the week angels spirits guides <clears throat> two cards we have direction guardian choose your path And we have Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. So let's do Direction Guardian. Connect with your deepest desires, then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. Your path isn't set in stone and your angels and guides have no expectations for you, nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong, as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savoured. So, if you know that there's a decision to be made, and particularly if you are feeling indecisive, Choose the path that you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart. And we have Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. I think there is a little bit of a waiting period here, Aries, you know, with the cards on the table. I think that you are going through a time of transformation and renewal. That is the energy here. But you are coming through the other side stronger and I definitely feel that there is that sense of karmic rewards here there may well be choices and decisions to make this week in terms of how you deal with this situation but ultimately I feel it's leading you to your karmic path um, and that's what I'm seeing for you here and certainly with the justice card and you know the moon energy these are, these are very spiritual energies of you know spirit working behind the scenes to to support you hidden blessings are around you you're in the perfect energetic space to manifest what you want you've got everything that you need sometimes we just need to have that courage and strength to persevere to see something through but it looks like you're nearly there that's what i have for you aries for the week ahead i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a wonderful week i will see you next time